What is up, YouTubers? It's the Repo Man 360 here, coming to you with episode three of my dream casting. And again, I lucked out and got a nice lot from a U.S. seller. Now there were a few extras in there, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to show those first, and but some of them might be upgrades from what I have already. All right, and the, the extras or duplicates. We've got Echo the Dolphin. The F355 uh, Ferrari Challenge, MSR, <laughs> a little knackered, and it's missing the back altogether. <laughs> That's the only one like that, though. They all, they've all got their manuals. Sega Rally Championship. This is an upgrade. Soul Calibur. Um, then we have the ever-popular T-Off. Lots of rattling in there, fun and excitement. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 with a humongous, humongous crack in the back. <laughs> and then Vigilante 8, Second Defense, great game. So having two is not so bad. And now on to the big stuff. Now, you can see I originally tried to do uh, lined up like that, but it just, you didn't quite get the space. So I switched to the uh, vertical, and uh, it's got much more space. I'm going to have a bit of trouble putting these up there. So here we go. We're going to start off all alphabetical. We've got a copy of Arrow Wings. These are all complete. Uh, the only thing I'd say is some of these cases are a little knackered. Uh, now we have Bust and Move 4. Championship Surfer, Choo Choo Rocket, Choo Choo, <laughs> and finally it's Crazy Taxi, yes, now I know I had the case and manual before, but this is actually the whole deal, the front one's busted, I forgot, so the, it is the regular real deal game, so happy to have that, so I can finally add that to the collection. And now we have a copy of Dead or Alive 2. Uh, Evolution 1, as I like to call it. <laughs> now, at the Midway point, uh, we have Midway's Arcade Greatest Hits Volume 1. Mortal Kombat Gold. Oh, I almost forgot to show the... Uh, <laughs> on this one, I'm going to have to replace the case because the <laughs> the forks are gone on this one. <laughs> All right, now we have, woo, there they go, <laughs> a copy of NBA 2K. Now, this is a bit uh, scratched up here, so I might be looking to replace that somehow. Well, if I get one in a, a lot or something, I'll uh, be happy to, let's just... That's going to drive me nuts if I have to look at that. Okay. All right. Better. Okay. Next up we have Power Stone. Snow Surfers. And I think this is another one that's a bit busted up. <laughs> uh, Speed Devils. Sydney 2000, and a copy of Wet Tricks. So for all of that, all in was $130, so that's not too bad. And uh, that's 15 new games to the list, which puts me at 63, which is kind of a weird number. So I'll go ahead and show something else that I got. Uh, I, from the original seller of the original bundle I bought of the PAL Dreamcast games, uh, he uh, messaged me and was like, hey, man, uh, I found some other stuff. Uh, would you be interested? <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, so the only duplicate in that that I ended up having to buy was Spider-Man. And if I remember right, this was $200 all in. So this was a little pricey. Uh, but we have Confidential Mission. It's Confidential. 
And it supports the light gun, my ever favorite, super favorite part of the whole thing that I didn't even know existed until it died. Then we have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I was taught to properly pronounce this as Out Trigger, not Outrigger. So, which, you know, does have the extra T in there. It's got two T's. <laughs> And wouldn't you know it, Power Stone 2! So I'm all Power Stoned. Yay! Wait, that didn't come out right. Uh, okay, next up we have Project Justice Rival Schools 2. Happy to have that. Sonic Adventure. Surprised they didn't have that already. Um, Street Fighter Alpha 3, and that's how I'm going to go with it, uh, because, oh, and that one's another one that's a bit knackered, we have Street Fighter 3 Double Impact, <laughs> so I'm not quite sure, but you can see that one's come up a ways there, that actually puts me at 71 now, so it's still a bit of an odd number, but 71, all US sellers, I've been having some good luck. So this has been awesome. Uh, I, I I will say my neat bit of kit is probably this thing you've noticed in the background, uh, the PAL version of Samba de Amigo. Now I can't add it to the official total, unfortunately, because it doesn't have the game with it. It has everything else, all the papers, uh, the pad, the maracas, uh, but no game. I got it from Europe, my first Europe game. Uh, and the guy was actually not too thrilled that I was winning in America and that no one else bid on it. Uh, but I didn't realize, because it, Samba de Amigo here is cheap as chips. I didn't realize that it was, the game itself was, only came with the bundle until after I bought it and tried to find the game. Uh, but the gentleman was so thrilled, uh, that I, oh, Paid 65 pounds all in, which was about a hundred dollars. Uh, it was 40 pounds uh, for winning it and uh, 25 pounds to ship it. Uh, he was so thrilled that he had to send it to America that he put it in a bin liner. I mean, I don't know what else to call it, right? I mean, it looks like a trash bag. Uh, and this box, all the way from the UK, put it in the bin liner. And if, if that's not enough proof, it was wrapped inside with this. This is an actual, honest to goodness, bin liner. What was this guy thinking? I'd love to, you know, shout him out and say awful things about him, but I'm just not that kind of person. Uh, but let's see if I can figure out where he's from. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here we go. Uh, Oh, Wyken? W-Y-K-E-N? So, if you know a uh, knob that loves using bin liners to pack stuff, uh, give him a kick in the balls for me. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this shelf will have more goodness on it next time. And please keep watching. Uh, give me the old thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below. And I've got something special coming up, so stay tuned, guys. Take care.